All right, so I've never done one of these before, and I'm gonna give it a shot and cover day to day. So today's Love Dare, day three, and it is uh, Love is Not Selfish. And so today I'm supposed to show my wife that I love her and um, appreciate her and show her that I'm thinking of her by buying her a small gift and uh, recapping from yesterday today and saying nothing negative. So, uh, and that's pretty rough for me. Um, not to say anything negative, but to approach a conversation that she doesn't want to have perceived as negative. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I'm starting this on day three. I didn't do day one or day two, but um, you gotta start somewhere. Um, so already it's a little rough uh, because, you know, um, I'm trying everything to hold on to my marriage and she's a little reluctant to come on board and doesn't really notice a lot of the stuff that I do. Um, uh, we've been married for 16 years, almost 16 years this December, and uh, she's, uh, I guess you could say, emotionally detached from me and doesn't care much, you know, doesn't, uh, doesn't enjoy the hugs uh, if I go in and give her a kiss. She, you know, she'll give you the, the little peck. Um, but uh, at the same time, she's trying to stay kind. We're going to counseling. And um, I think it's working. It would probably work a whole lot better if I did what in the world I was supposed to do. Um, but over the last three or four days, um, uh, I don't think I've done anything negative or stressful um, in her eyes. Uh, at least I hope not. Um, so, uh, to recap, um, you know, we've been married for 15 years and, uh, I've always thought that we had a, an amazing marriage. Um, and at the same time, I, you know, I always thought she did too, but that wasn't the case. Um, she, uh, made me aware that. I was, uh, I guess you'd say selfish, um, always making it about me and she's not the greatest communicator. So it would be, she would just give in to make things about me. Um, but I should have noticed and I didn't. Uh, so that's one thing I'm working on now is not making it about me and loving her unconditionally. Um, to where I don't expect anything in return, um, which is really rough because she's always been um, the express for one. You know, she always loved affection, and uh, that's not the case now. Now she, uh, uh, most of the time, she can't stand me. Um, so I'm working on that, and with counseling, uh, we both we're both going, and. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, but at the same time, I started the Love Dare. This is the second time I started it. Last time, I don't think I made it to day six um, before I was so frustrated that I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, and through prayer and with God's help, uh, I'm tackling this again. So um, day one went great. Day two was a little stressful, but I made it through it. And today's day three, and it's about... Um, 11 o'clock. Um, no, it's 10 20. Uh, we were supposed to have a marriage counseling session today and it got canceled. Um, I was already on my way home hoping to go to it and uh, it got canceled. So I got to get ready to go back to work. So I thought I'd make this and um, maybe look back and see how I'm reacting day to day. So this is this is for me and for for anybody out there that wants it 
um, I'm, I'm committed. I'm going to make it through. Um, I hope that she, uh, she sees and has a, has a change of heart and will slowly let me back in to, en to enjoy the, not the new me, but, um, the same old me refined. That's what we use. Um, Uh, so that's that's today today uh, I'll I'll let you know how how today went tomorrow um, but so far today I've I've been a little stressed um, I would call her and text her at work and she would of course she wouldn't respond um, and I don't know if she's busy all the time or just screening her phone calls but, you know, I'll text her and say, hey, babe, I love you. Have a great day. And she won't respond. Um, and that really eats at me. Um, just because of, of our history together. She's always been um, loving and outgoing and um, really sweet to me. And that's it's not what I get lately. And it's really tough. Um, and I don't share my feelings with anybody. I don't talk to anybody. I don't want anybody to know what's going on. Um, cause I don't want them to look at my wife like she did something wrong when in reality it was probably, um, all me, uh, not all of it, but to get through this, I will, I will take it. I'll, I'll take the hit. Um, so anybody out there that wants to motivate me and help me get through this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I need all the help I can get. Uh, I won't give up on my wife. We've got four amazing kids. And uh, I'm not going to be that example of a failed marriage. It's not happening. So anything you got, I'll listen to. <sighs> Thanks, guys.